generation that we do see at your television growing up, like, you know, my age, your age, perhaps, and some people, but lots of young people are not that How do you retain that iconicity and the relevance? So one piece which I just wanted to show you here, this is that Ronaldo controversy on Coke Park. So I think if the audience is seeing here, yes, that, that happened, and they know you pushed the bottle and there was an impact on Coke's valuation as well. And our take was very simple. Now bottle the take, now valuation the Value call that word. And now again, uh, you know, and Vijay Bollani, whether he's there in the audience or not. So I think the way we operate, uh, and, and, and the other one, just the next one, if you can also show with me. So Hashweka, you know, tweeted, classic Hashweka style on his tweets, you know, like three tweets. What is better for bonding, Kevin or Echo? And Kevin Call responded, saying, depends on whether you want to bond for an evening or for and I think, you know, it was sort of, uh, so I think, and, you know, and, and again, to give you this example, that, you know, we, it's a traditional brand, you know, in a part of people say. And when we do some of our copies, we go through all the things which most of the marketers here are aware of, understand the consumer, you know, doing the PPM, doing the story reports and all that. But some of these responses are done in less than 15 minutes. That's how you can trend, you know. Because that Google thing was trending, but that day, if you couldn't look at Coke, what was popping up was that chair and Kevin Cobb. If you, if you Google Ronaldo, what was popping up was that and Kevin Cobb. So you want to respond quickly, instantaneously. Some of those decisions are taken by youngsters, and they're taken within minutes. So the same organization, same brand, you've got to have the ability to do these things to be able to relevant, to, 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 to remain relevant, to build an iconic brand, and sort of, you know, and to remind even the youngsters Many of them go on to this. And then through this, they will also see some of our good pieces. So that's interesting. That's another thing we have So it's, it's basically being able to look at it holistically, uh, you know, and, and doing it for what is right for each of the pieces. You know, I thought I'd use a few of these and also a post time session, probably, you know, with an endearing brand like the record. So I think to specifically answer your question, I think you've got to remain contextual, you've got to be relevant. Uh, you've got to be true. I would say authenticity, walking the talk, having a point of view. And obviously, you know, doing things, we, we, we do a lot, as you know, as I call for craftsmen, and I think, you know, carpenters and all that. And that's how you build that bond, and then you will, for a period of time, you will say, yes, the purpose is to continue to uplift every section of the society and show respect and dignity to everyone. But I think, but that is all up to Yeah, but I think it's a fascinating question on how do legacy brands you know, remain relevant and as I reflect on the journey of Cadbury, uh, you know, it's, it's the fabric of the nation brand. It's synonymous with the chocolate category, really, really 